Greetings, Cauldron of Weird fans. Welcome back. It's time for another concert vlog. Tonight, we're here at Scully's Music Diner. We're going to see Ice Nine Kills and Tooth Grinder and Hawk and Awake at Last. We're in a really small room. There's going to be a lot of people here. It's going to be fucking wild. Hey guys, real quick, this video is brought to you by Eargasm Ear Plugs. Why pay $5,000 in the future for hearing aids when you can pay $35 now for some Eargasm Ear Plugs? Save yourself the time, save yourself the hassle, and save yourself the deductible on your insurance. Eargasm Ear Plugs, hearing's awesome. Make sure you can in the future. Link will be in the description below. <laughs> Okay, so we're in my car right now, and uh, it was too dark and too loud to do the between set segments in, um, in the venue, so we're just going to do them now. Um, first band, Awake at Last. Good, good band. Um, decent performers. They, they would do... Um, they would do... Ra they do radio rock, essentially. So, like, they... The Blitz would love them. The 99.7 The Blitz would absolutely love them. Um, okay, not my wheelhouse. Not really what I was expecting from a show like this. With Ice Nine Kills headlining. Um, a good set though. I'll give it an 8.5. So up next is um, Hawk. So enjoy that. <laughs> I got too much money You just saw Hawk. Hawk was really fucking good. They were so energetic. They had um, an incredible performance. Their singer was super into it. I'm sorry all the footage is really dark, by the way. Like, you know, I don't know what the deal with the lighting at Scully's was, but it was not very visible. Um, wow, Hawk was really good. They were a lot of fun. Um, as you can tell, I look like a hot fucking mess right now. Um... But yeah, Hawk was a 9.5 out of 10. Really good. Really solid. A lot of fun. I'll have to check them out later. So up next is not Tooth Grinder like I originally thought. They are on the tour and on the tour on the tour poster. But actually the plot in you took their spot. So the plot in you is actually next. <laughs>
It's a good thing to lose you and you And I'm just so sick of backing down I might just build it all If I tell you it won't be coming back The deep's call in your soul And you're not sick of playing games Sick of giving blame Sick of fucking living like the world is never giving you a life to find a day So, you just saw the plot in you, as I said a little bit ago, you know, um, Tooth Grinder was on, was scheduled for this, but they, for some reason, weren't there, it was never really explained why that was the case, um, at least I didn't hear anything, which is entirely possible, I'm really disappointed in that I was excited to see them, but, the plot in you, um, I've seen them like seven times, I'm not gonna lie, I am not a fan of their newer stuff, um, I haven't really been a fan of them since, like, 2012-ish. I don't know. It was whatever album had premeditated on it was about the last time I was really into them. So, yeah, not really my thing. They put on a good live show, though, so I, I can't really fault them for that. Their performance will get a... I'll give it, to be fair, a 9 out of 10. Um, and last but not least is Ice Nine Kills. I'll see you back in a moment.
so ice nine kills you just saw that it was madness it was madness i say um <clears throat> my voice is totally shot right now um i don't know how i'm going to uh i don't know how i'm gonna work um tomorrow it's gonna be kind of rough doing so but we'll figure it out i always do uh just constant insanity intensity spencer is an incredible showman he has gotten so good at his craft and um he's gotten so good at his craft in the last uh couple years especially on this album cycle he's really really figured it out i think um they didn't play a very long set i was kind of surprised it was kind of somewhere around the um 50 minutes i think which is weird for a headlining band to play for that little amount of time um but it was an early show it's on sunday i mean it's 10 o'clock now and i'm i'm in my driveway filming these uh these um between set skits and this is the outro i guess but uh very short sweet to the point you know i i think scully's is definitely too small for ice nine kills now um they uh, i hope i hope next time somewhere like newport picks them up because that would have been a much more appropriate venue for the band um or even the a and r bar i think would have done better because um i think the cap at uh at Scully's it's supposed to be like 200 and for a and r bar it's supposed to be like four or five hundred um or al rosa villa even um i know theirs is like 800 people so al rosa pick them up next time they're doing a, a headliner but they're they're just incredible now i mean they i saw them on um the falling reverse tour they pulled out even more intensity than they did on that show. Um, it's been a while since I've been at a show with stage diving, by the way. There was people stage diving. So you see a clip where um, I, my, my phone gets kind of knocked down. That's uh, because a stage diver landed on my head. And that happened like seven or eight times tonight. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, interesting. Interesting. But... This is Corey from College of Weird. I need to sign off. I need to take a shower and go to sleep because I'm exhausted. Um, great show. Overall, let's give Ice Nine Kills a 9.5 out of 10. Let's give the overall show a 9 out of 10. Great sh great tour. Lots of fun. Um, there's only two dates on it left, though, I think, at this point. So if you saw it, great. If not catch them on their next tour they said they'll be touring in the fall so check them out then i'm Corey from cauldron of weird obvious and my friends